who you, wound up, who you wound up supporting in the election, presidential election? None of your business. <laughs> Denzel Washington just spoke about woke culture, and he didn't hold back. For nearly 50 years, Denzel has built a career on not just his undeniable talent, but also of his commitment to telling the truth. He's one of the few actors who hasn't let fame and fortune cloud his judgment or shift his values. So why did he need a uh, black director? Could a white director not have... It's not color, it's culture. S explain the difference, because I think we're, we're Steven in Steven Spielberg right did Schindler's List. Mm -hmm. Denzel stands out because, unlike most people who avoid tough topics, he spoke his mind, even though it might stir up some backlash. Time and time again, interviewers have tried to challenge him, but Denzel always manages to come out on top, shutting down the arguments with ease. Martin Scorsese probably could have done a good job with Schindler's List, but they're cultural differences. Yeah. I know, you know, we all know what it is when a hot comb hits your hair on a Sunday morning, mm -hmm. what it smells like. Huh? That's a cultural difference, not just a color difference. Right. So it's the culture. What makes Denzel unique is that he's not just talking about the culture itself. He's calling out how it's impacting the younger generation. Denzel pointed out how people, especially the youth, are glued to their screens, scrolling through social media without thinking critically. In this age of social media, what would you say to young people? Turn it off. That's what I would say. It's, it's, it's hard for young people now because they're hooked. They're addicted. If you don't think you're addicted, and I'm talking about anyone, from the highest to the lowest, if you don't think you're addicted, then see if you can turn it off for a week. You got quiet in here, <laughs> didn't you? Denzel Washington has never been one to shy away when it comes to speaking his mind. While promoting his film Fences, Denzel made it crystal clear. It's not about color. It's about culture. He wasn't just addressing the film. He was calling out the entire Hollywood industry. Hollywood loves to congratulate itself for being progressive. But Denzel isn't buying it. He knows that real representation isn't just about diversity on the surface. It's about truly understanding and respecting the cultures behind the stories. In his eyes, true talent and meaningful stories are being sidelined in favor of quick, superficial fame driven by social media trends. As Denzel put it, the industry is losing sight of what really matters. Martin Scorsese probably could have done a good job with Schindler's List, but they're cultural differences. Yeah. Denzel's message is straightforward yet impactful. Diversity isn't just about appearances. What's the point of casting a black actor or hiring a black director if they don't truly understand the culture they're presenting? Denzel is saying what many people are thinking, but are too afraid to say. You know, race relationships have to do with race relationships. You're white or whatever you are, I'm black or whatever I am. We're standing here talking now. That's how we get things done. You can't legislate love. The President of the United States can't legislate us to liking each other. Hollywood's take on diversity is often more about appearances than substance. It's less about telling meaningful, culturally rich stories and more about ticking the right boxes. For Denzel, that's just not good enough. But if you think he's only frustrated with the lack of authentic storytelling, you're mistaken. Denzel has gone even further, calling out how this simplistic approach to diversity isn't just misguided, it's dangerous. In an interview with Sirius XM, he reflected on how the portrayal of black people in films has shifted over time, and not always for the better. Because of all those people who laid the groundwork for me to be in the position I'm in, I'm going to make sure that there's hundreds of roles for the next generation and utilize the power that I have at this moment in order to do that. And nobody's going to get in my way. For Denzel, it's not about the outside. It's about what you bring to the table. He's well aware that the real power in Hollywood still rests with the same group of people, mostly white men, pulling the strings from behind the scenes. While they may talk a big game about change, Denzel isn't fooled. They claim they want diversity. But as Denzel rightly asks, who's really making the decisions? It's a bold question, but one that needs to be asked. Denzel knows that true change isn't just about putting a few diverse faces in front of the camera. It's about who's behind it, who's writing the stories, and who gets to decide which stories are told. And let's not forget about cancel culture, one of the most heated and controversial issues of our time. While many in Hollywood are quick to hop on the cancel culture bandwagon, Denzel is holding his ground. He doesn't blindly follow trends, especially when they undermine honest conversation and personal growth. We live in a society now where it's just first. Who cares? Get it out there. We don't care who it hurts. We don't care who we destroy it. We don't care if it's true. Just say it. Sell it. Denzel has witnessed how cancel culture leaves people too afraid to give their opinions, 
and he understands the real cost of that. When people stop expressing themselves, we all lose. He's spoken about how cancel culture threatens freedom of expression, putting open, honest dialogue at risk. Denzel believes in individuality and the importance of embracing differences rather than silencing them. There are millions of people that are falling in the gap because they don't fit in to this information age. I don't care who you are. You can promise people a whole lot, but there's a whole lot of people that are, gonna, that are in trouble right now because they just don't fit in. His message is clear. We need to stop being quick to cancel people who make mistakes or have different opinions. Instead of shutting people down, he believes we should be open to listening, learning, and growing together. Did you know that Hollywood is now using scandals and controversy to make money? Well, Denzel isn't having any of it. He strongly believes that art should uplift people and tell honest, meaningful stories, not just drama for the sake of profit. And Denzel isn't just talking the talk, he's doing something about it. Through his production company, he's supporting projects that give a voice to unheard people. He's also mentoring young actors and filmmakers, pushing them to stay true to themselves and their cultures. Denzel is also deeply concerned about Hollywood's shift towards sensationalism and scandal. He views this trend as a broader issue within woke culture, which can sometimes prioritize controversy over genuine artistic expression. Take Fences, for instance, a film Denzel directed and starred in. Can I ask you a question? Hell, yeah, you got to ask me, Mr. Stewart, the one you got the questions for. How come you ain't never like me? Like it? Who the hell said I got to like it? What law is there say I got to like you? Want to stand up in front of my face and ask a damn fool ass question like that? Talking about liking somebody. This is the kind of content Denzel wants to see more of in Hollywood. He's not interested in drama for drama's sake. He's all about telling stories that truly matter. Denzel Washington has also addressed the growing political divide in the industry. When a reporter asked him who he voted for, Denzel refused to answer outright. Who, who, you, wound up, who you wound up supporting in the election? Presidential election. None of your business. Yeah. He's observed that the industry has become increasingly polarized, with people being pushed to one extreme or the other. Denzel strongly believes in free speech and the right of individuals to express themselves, regardless of the political climate. Black Lives Matter movement, for example, and those issues, have, has that movement in particular, the Black Lives Matter movement, helped race relations or not in America? Well, listen, we live in America, and in America we have the freedom to express ourselves. We shouldn't take that for granted. So whatever the movements are, whether you agree with them or don't, they have the right to express themselves. Denzel isn't interested in playing those games. He's been clear that politics shouldn't be about left versus right, but about what's right versus what's wrong. Anything you practice, you'll get good at, Inclu including BS. Denzel Washington has also criticized Hollywood for its tendency to jump onto the latest political cause without truly understanding the issues involved. For Denzel, it's not enough to just talk the talk, you have to walk the walk as well. Some view his stance as brave and right, while others see it as overly negative. Regardless, his perspective is significant. What do you think? Do you agree with Denzel's views on Hollywood? You must write about your thoughts in comment section, and don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also like and share the video.